Hey guys, this is Dean from 5150. How you guys doing? Today we're gonna to be installing a rusty rack in Project Red Baron. So let's go ahead and get this started. So this is a Rusty's LJ Wrangler rear cargo basket. So this rack is gonna go inside Project Red Baron and it's gonna sit right back here. Got a nice powder coating on it. It's kind of cool. It's really nice. And the mount. Side. Oh, nice dimple dyed. It's cool. That's dimple dyed there. These are just holes. Yeah, this pack is nice. Look at the hardware. Now it's got some separate grade A, grade A bolts. Got some button heads. Looks like stainless steel. And then we got some, some nuts with some lock washers on them. Let's look at the directions. So, that's page one. Here's the parts, part numbers, and quantities. Back, a left and a right. And it looks like these are just gonna kind of bolt up together like this. A quarter twenty. Yep. Okay. okay, we're gonna have a five thirty seconds Allen. We're gonna use and a seven sixteenths inch wrench. Okay, you can see we got the uh, Patrick got these three on already. It's just a, a nut with a built-in lock washer, a lock nut. All right, so we've inserted the bottom of the floor in here. It's just sitting there right now. Rusty's always done a nice job on their powder coating. We got uh, some rusty uh, fenders. I got those on my uh, XJ. Yeah, nice. they're great. One day we'll do a walk around on that. Just haven't had time. You can see it over there on the trailer. Um, we have a uh, Rubicon Dana 44 in the front of it. It's got RCVs. Uh, we did tear a uh, uh, the track bar bracket off the front end when we were out at TDS uh, last month. So uh, I just ordered a new uh, front end for it, and we're gonna we'll do a video on that once all that comes in. So that's the basic frame of it. Just uh, a bottom. Two bottom pieces, uh, a front and a back and two sides, and that's gonna fit in here. Let me move Patrick's uh, orange soda out of the way. Sunkiss orange, sounds like a foo-foo drink. And then I'm gonna put the other one in here. Okay, 
Okay, we gotta kind of square this up. This is the back side. This sits up by the by the rear seat. And this would be the front side. It's really a slick looking rack. It's pretty stylish. And so you can put your ice chest in here, sleeping bag or whatever, tools. Chairs. Chairs. These need to be half inch? Three quarters. Three quarters. The longer ones. The longer ones, so that there's a quarter 20 three quarters and quarter 20 half inch lengths. And uh, three quarters go on the side here. So we're going to do that on each corner. So we're going to do that. So these are all three quarters, three quarters, not the half inch. And I think the reason being, this is actually thicker, this here, versus this plate on the bottom. This plate feels like it's like 16th. This is almost like a eighth inch. The corners use the long ones, the yeah. four corners. So the four corners use the even quarter 20s. We're going to light. So we'll see if we can get them. Not a lot. You just flip this up on its side to make it a little easier to feed these screws through. So we're going to put the button head on the bottom and put the bolt shank into the top up here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. That an eight on the bottom. That means there's probably eight on the top. Thing's starting to get pretty strong. Right and tight. Yep. And you can see there across the top we have one, two, three, four done there. And one, two, three. We still get a oh, it doesn't look like there's one there. So. <laughs> Are we talking about the corner? Yeah. On the other side. Oh. Oh, okay, and the fourth one is on that side. So minimum tools, just a, a 532nd uh, Allen wrench and the, I said 7 16th inch wrench. Probably at least gonna, it's probably going to need a drill to drill the tape. To put this in, but yeah, we'll probably have to drill for these side plates to mount. Okay, finished tightening it up. We're going to go ahead and set it in there and see what it looks like. It's getting late. You can kind of see sunsets coming down over there. Um, so we're going to finish this uh, video in the morning. Tonight we got the rack back just sitting in there in the back of the Project Red Baron. So what we got to do is, those are the brackets there. Basically, you bolt those and that to the sides. Uh, we got to remove the carpeting. We're going to definitely remove the bottom one. We have these uh, other things in here. We think we're just going to drill through the carpet, see if we can do that. And you measure four and a half inches the second hole. All right, so from the floorboard, you measure four and a half inches to the center bolt. And that gives you a little bit of adjustment. You can change the height with those three mounting bolts there. So. Okay, that's four and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how far in? I'll put it at 16. This way? Okay, take a measure. And 16 to there. Okay. We're going to drill the first two holes. And we got this leveled to zero on the front side. Then we'll do the back side. Put a bolt in there to hold it. Okay.
Okay, so that gets us, we're still level here at zero. So that's level from left to right. Now we gotta level it from front to back. Zero right there. Zero. So if you can see there, we're just a little bit off there. So in here, you can see we just have to move the inner skirt out, fender skirt, to put the nuts on. We'll put a big washer on there too. And these these tabs here, top and bottom, we have them on this side. You can buy another plate that goes in front that blocks this whole piece off if you don't have your rear seat. And uh, that way you can make this more lockable, more secure. All right. So that's a zero there. Looks like it came out nice and level. We got that level this way. You can see it's zero, zero. Okay. Patrick's putting the carpet back on. You know, it's going to be fairly strong, enough to put stuff in. Putting the rubber mat back in. And this is what the seat looks like when you fold it up. And that makes a nice little compartment back there. Okay, so we have our 20-quart Yeti that's in here. And then we have a Milwaukee pack out. You can see it fits in there pretty nice. And we've got our a ARB chairs you can put right up here. And then whatever else we want or need. We started last night and we just ran out of daylight and ran out of daylight right now, but that's it. Uh, it's really a cool rack. I, I like the dimple dies in it. Pretty solid. Really like it a lot. And that other plate goes right here. There's the tabs if you didn't run a rear seat. Uh, it just kind of keeps that a little more secure. Or if your rear seat is on, you could just fold it and get into it. Yeah, or someone could fold your rear seat down and steal stuff out of it. There you go. So guys, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment.